How's it going? Tomato here. Uh, it's early morning in Byron. Uh, we're going out in location today up into the hills of Byron. Uh, we've got a uh, Nissan uh, X-Trail to do. So it's going to be a uh, maintenance wash, hopefully. I haven't seen the car, but um, it's due. It's, uh, I think I did this car just before I uh, left for uh, overseas, and I've been back for about two months. So, um, yeah, it's about three months ago. I applied some Fuso code to the car. And, um, yeah, so heading up there, and uh, it's a bit chilly this morning. It was eight degrees or something last night, and it's not much warmer at the moment. So, um, yeah, I'm a bit rugged up. Uh, um, I'm going to grab some breakfast on the way through town and a coffee, and uh, I'll head on up. So I'll see you up there. Okay, so welcome to Tomato Industries Saturday edition. And uh, today I've got a couple of cars to do. I'm hoping to get them both done. Um, so I'll be uh, going full flat chat. I've done a very quick inspection video. And uh, the car I'm doing at the moment is at Nissan X-Trail. Just a maintenance detail. Uh, I stopped by on the way here. I'm up in the hills of Byron. Uh, it got down to about 8 degrees last night. I think we're running at around 14 or so at the, right at this moment. It's around 8 o'clock in the morning. So I've uh, got the detailer's breakfast on hand, one uh, large cappuccino, two sugars, and a uh, ham and cheese toasting, which I've had, oh, it looks like I've had a little nibble, but I don't think I've actually got to that one yet. That's a that's an interesting thing. Maybe the guy at the shop had a little nibble. All right, so, um, yeah, it's a beautiful day. Um, it's a good day for uh, doing interior. I've got an interior... Um, for a, I think it's a Honda Jazz or something like that. They've just had it repainted because um, of hail damage. They want to sell it. The interior is pretty filthy, especially the seats. And it, all I can say is there's a dog involved. So um, I'm hoping to get to that after this, and uh, that'll be my day. Hopefully, get a day off tomorrow. Uh, I've had a look at some of my um, uh, tools, like a vacuum and that, and they really need some maintenance. So I might do a little bit of a video just to show you the carnage that's happened through this week. All right, uh, you stay safe, take care, and um, I'll see you soon. G'day, but oh, I forgot to mention, we've got two special guests in today, Larry from Ammo NYC and Darren from Auto Fetish Detailing. So both those guys are with us, and actually Larry has brought a special guest with him. So it, it's going to be awesome. Sit back and enjoy. Yeah, and... The surprise is just going to come and I've actually got Darren from Auto Fetish Detailing here. So, all right, Darren, do you want to come in? Okay, it's Darren here and um, we're going to go out on location and check out some uh, Johnny Trash, man. You know, look, I'm going to go out and location and we're going to look at polishing in the sun because when you polish in the sun you know you need to be in the moment because to remove the polish one of the things you can do is use water and when you use water because water is a solvent okay and doesn't cost much for the customer and you know have, have I shown you guys my bicep lately? You know, like really, you got to check this thing out. Yeah, look at that. All right. Yeah, Johnny Trash, every time I do a video, you know, I, I start videoing, and along comes Johnny Trash Man or Johnny Postman, you know, and they make noise. And, you know, I'm over here in the moment using water for the customer on the polisher. Anyway, I'm going to go back to Tomato now, and we'll see you guys in the video. Yeah, good on you, Darren. Thanks for coming in, mate. And, uh, you know, I hope you get in the moment and you stay in the moment. What a guy. Anyway, let's get into this video. What's up, guys? Larry here from Ammo NYC. Hey, how's it going? Okay, today we're going to talk about removing scratches 
with WD-40, yeah, that, that is cool, hey, yeah, yeah, I, I'm so excited. And restoring faded trim with peanut butter. Can you believe it? Yeah. And that's not all, that's not all. No, no, there's more, there's more. Yeah, I know, there's more. As a special guest, we have Kevin Brown. Yep, Kev's come along. You might remember we did a video where we polished with water and another video where we revealed some of Kev's tricks. And one of them was scalloping. You know, we scalloped. So right on the edges, we were scalloping on the edges. And Kev, he was scalloping the other night, but he hurt his little arm. See that? Kev's hurt his arm. So unfortunately, Kev won't be able to put that peanut butter on the trim to restore it or spray the WD-40. But he will be giving expert commentary from the sideline. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm just going to go get my Porsche. Anyway, now that I've got my new garage and all my lights, I'm so excited. So, you know, just sit back, watch the video, and uh, we'll see you later. Come on, Tamala, you, you come in here and you let's do this video thing. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, well, thanks, Larry. That's great. You know, um, it's good to have you in. Good on you, Kev. Sorry about the arm, mate. It's a bummer. Uh, what I mate, I tried that scalloping myself. It nearly ripped my arm off. You know, nearly it, it almost took my arm completely off. So you know, viewers, if you're going to try it at home, you be careful. Anyway, enough of this stuff. We've got our special guest. Let's get on with the video. A cha cha. I say good morning and welcome to Tomato Industries Saturday morning detailing. And uh, here we have a. Um, this is an X-Trail, so I did this car probably about, let's see, five months ago and uh, put Fuso coat on it um, and did all the trim, uh, interior, so I'm back just to do a maintenance wash, so I'm just, uh, was looking at the car. One thing I noticed like, is a lot of the cars in Byron have had a lot of tar stuck to them and I'm not, there is some, I can see a little bit, uh, but not a great deal. So hopefully the Fuso coat's actually working in that regard. Uh, this trim, I'm going to put some um, Carpro Pearl. Uh, I'll either put OptiBond or Carpro Pearl on the tyres. I think I'll go with the Pearl this time because I only come up here once every four months or so. So, um, and I'll probably reapply it to the uh, windscreen cowling. The rest of the car is going to get reloaded with CarPro Reload. Uh, I'm doing the interior, but to be honest, it's just a bit dusty and a little bit of dirt in there. The rest of it's in quite good condition. Um, yes, and so it's not looking too bad. It's an absolutely magnificent day. I'm going to get a little video. I'll probably put it at the start of this of the view behind here. I was just in a bit of a rush to get here this morning. Uh, so the back just needs a, a good, and I, I, I was just speaking with a customer and they're experiencing what I experienced and that was with the Rain-X, um, <clears throat> I put two coats on this car um, and I, at the real and the same time I did two coats on my own car and she's experienced the exact same thing as I did where the wipers are getting, are coming up, getting to around this area, so about six inches left of their cycle and it goes and then back down and it's fine on this way she's fine on the way up and then so every time you do what and i was having the same thing that's why i've switched to the 3m glass coating anyway since i switched to the 3m glass coating i it, i haven't had that problem at all it's working fine so i'm not sure whether it's an operator error on the way i applied it uh, it's funny that it's actually the same area on her car it is as mine, um, but today, yes, um, I'll isopropyl alcohol this windscreen after the wash, and um, I will um, put the new coating on, and hopefully we're going to get a result out of that. So, yep. All right. So, in, you know, all in all, the car's not in bad shape for five months. There's a bit of dust and stuff, so the coating's working well, keeping uh, a lot, a lot of the um, dirt and debris 
from sticking to the paint. All right, so we'll get into this and I'll I'll catch you soon. Okay, so welcome back. Um, just returned from that job, the Nissan X Trail, and um, when I was uh, taking the video at the end, uh, I'm not sure if I showed you in the previous videos, but um, where the car was parked, it was uh, there was a road about a meter or two in front of it, and um, another car next to it, and it was all mot. There's trees overhanging, so the light was all motley. The car was half in shade, half in sun, and I took a quick video. Um, just to see what it looked like and when I looked back at it it looked terrible so um, then when I, I went around the back while I was videoing and I noticed that uh, it looked good from the back because it was in the shade so rather than do a video I just took a picture from the back um, I'll write uh, a small uh, description of uh, the tools I use the products I use uh, all that sort of stuff in the area the description area below the video and uh, hopefully that'll do so anyway, that's just an explanation of what happened there. Okay, see you later. All right, so uh, just thought I'd stop on the way home uh, just to show you what sort of views we're getting up here. And what we have just here is uh, Mount Warning, just there, off in the distance. And uh, we have Brunswick Heads up over here in that area. Oh. And so this is the road I was working on. Unfortunately, there's a hedge in front of where I... I I work so that's the um, uh, the pass over there where all the surfing's done, and you can, I'm not sure if you can see it. There's a lighthouse on top of that, and then we have uh, Tallow's Beach around the headland. So, and of course, you know, you stop and make to make a video, and look, a bloke and a tractor just happened. To... <laughs> I tell you, whenever you, you... I think um, auto fetish would call him Johnny. He normally calls him Johnny Trash Can, but he's uh, Johnny Ride On today. Anyway, so uh, yeah, this is sort of views we're looking at. It's absolutely magnificent. And I hope you're enjoying the uh, city, looking at the walls next door to you, wherever you live. And all those lucky people who live in rural areas. And I'm not sure if you can see it, but just there is Julian Rocks. I think. Let's see if I can. Just there somewhere it is. I might be able to pan in. Just hang on a sec. Yeah, there she is, Julian Rocks. Good it used to be good fishing out there, now it's a uh, nature reserve. Anyway, just thought I'd show you that, uh, and have a good day. Okay, what a surprise. Anyway, how good was that? No wonder I've got 33 subscribers. Unbelievable. Alright, well you guys stay safe, and uh, enjoy your night. Catch you later.